welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Natalie. And we are here today with three more backpacks for you guys. Yay. But before we start, we're going to do a... What are we wearing? So we have this cute little violet sh shirt. And then I have no idea what it does. <laughs> it says, I'm out of here. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, my boss bought these for you from a Disney store, huh? When they went to visit. That was fun. We also got this scarf from Target. It's cute, black, green, white. And it also has a matching ear to the... Oh. Not really matching. Well, yeah. close enough. They're purple. And then I've got a fun one. Baymax dressed as uh, Iron Man over here. I was gonna say Bay Hero 6. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the movie. Close enough. But alrighty, so... We are in, of course, Disney mode today, Disney themed, Mickey ears, so we're doing Mickey themes! Yay. So Natalie, would you like to go first? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So this is um, a free one of all the fruit, this is Mickey's fruit heads. So, so there is a strawberry, pineapple, orange, and cherries. Let's see. Children's yeah, zipper. Yeah. And the zipper art. Uh -huh. the, the, the zippers are little cherries of Mickey. So. And it also has a little green string. And so, sure ends up. Yeah. But like the straps are like, and the, like the side pockets are more like, like kind of like plasticky kind of material. Inside, what do we got? It's just like kind of like orangey red stripes. That's cute though. All right, as you guys can see, Nellie's getting a little bit more comfortable with introducing the backpacks. So she's pointed out all the main things for you guys. It is fruit theme Mickey heads and all of that adorable stuff. And the zippers are insanely cute. I like it when they have decorated zippers, don't you? Yeah, it's so cute. It makes it a little bit more fun, right? Yeah. So um, word of warning, I bought this from Box Lunch and everything. Um, I think I got it shipped. Um, I have heard though some people mention that these are really easy to fall off, I guess. So I'm not sure. I haven't carried it around yet or anything. So you guys can see I still have the tags on. I haven't carried it around so I don't know. But do be careful. I have heard that it's very common for these cherries to fall off. Um, so be extra careful with that. And yes, as Natalie pointed out, um, this part is faux leather. But you've got like this plasticky vinyl for the straps and the, uh, the side pockets. So I don't know how that will feel on if you're wearing like just on your skin. If it's hot, be careful, it might just stick to you. <laughs> um, so, if you're wearing something strapless or anything like that. So it looks more like rounder than like other backpacks because other backpacks are like actual, look like more like other kind of mini backpacks. But this one looks kind of different. Like it's more like round kind of. It is, so she's right. It is a little bit wider. Um, at the top here, so let's pull up a regular backpack to show you guys. So as you can see, the shape is a little bit wider and rounder. Mm -hmm. On the top right there. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. You show the inside. So there's no front pocket on this one or anything. Yeah. It's just a full front design. And the eldest is ha that has the plaque. Mm -hmm. Plaque right there in the middle. And then it's got one big main compartment. But it does still have the two side pockets. Um, do I check the inside? Oh. Okay, so again, I have pointed this out in past videos, but um, most of the backpacks that look like this regular layout, they have nothing inside. There's no dividers, no zipper, or anything else. But if the backpack looks different than that, I've noticed that more likely than not, it does have a zippered pocket on the inside and in the back right there. It's a little low down, so it's hard to see, but it's in there. Um, so just something for you guys to be aware of if you're one of those people that does like some kind of thing on the inside of it. This does have at least a zipper. If nothing else, the whole rest of it's not divided. Um, if you're still, if you're looking for any kind of backpack inserts, recommendations or anything like that, look through our previous videos. I did do one where I tested out two different size ones. They're fairly close in size, but different enough that one will fit in the normal size mini backpacks and one's a little bit big, so it would fit in like the bigger size backpacks. But yeah, there's the first one. <laughs> you yawning today. And then our second one here, super popular. I managed to get my hands on one of them. And it is 
it's either spooked Mickey or spooky Mickey. I'm not really sure. I've seen it both ways, but this is an older design. Um, it's an all over print, which by the way, if you're like me, you didn't know what AOP meant in like the title of the um, back pass. I looked at that for the longest time. I had no idea what it meant. My husband finally pointed out that it's an all over print. Anyways, you still have been collecting this much and I still finally just learned that. But anyways, all over print, meaning placement might be an issue on these bags, but I think that there's enough the design, there's enough of the design that um, chances are you'll still get good placement either way. But you've got Mickey in a few different uh, stances and uh, different figurations there. So, and then if you've watched video old plaque with that heart that laugh meaning this is a much older design there but otherwise it looks just like most of the normal ones you've got the big main pocket front pocket two side pockets let's show you guys the inside fairly plain but still cute just black with white mickey little tiny white mickey heads in there that kind of like mickey shaped polka dots Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh yeah, this is a fun one for you guys. Um, it's been a while since I mentioned it too. This is a lot of the older backpacks. Did you notice they're kind of like they do feel like this like heavier pleather material too. So it's similar to if you have the um, the blue Raja one. It's like the same feel as that. It's like the super hard faux leather. But yeah, fantastic. And then our very last one today is a little bonus one. It's small. It's a wrestlet. Um, yeah. I'm in your wristlet. So this is like holographic. It's like um sequenced. It doesn't move, but that's okay. It's like other kind of backpacks. Yeah. It's not quite, okay. I know some people are picky about this. It's not quite hollow, but it is sparkly. It's pretty. So, it's more of a gradient. So it has a little like, part that you could like, it's part of like the wristlet, like the wristlet part. Mm -hmm. It's like rainbow, kind of like a rainbow ombre. Why are you taking my plastic off? <laughs> <laughs> we'll chalk it up to me being Asian and wanting to leave the plastic on, child. <laughs> Anyways, wristlet strap, yes, yes, wrist strap. Well, leave my plastic. <laughs> Silly child. So you've got the wrist strap as well as this loop um, it is for putting it on a belt to wear it as like a fanny pack they just fall off. Did something just fall off oh goodness be careful I said what um yes so that that loop right there is uh, meant to go through like a belt so you can wear it as like a fanny pack bum bag whatever that you called it um and then the plaque is on the back of this as well and it does say disney parks because it is a um parks exclusive so when you say Disney parks that usually means that it's really only sold either in the parks themselves or at um, Disney it's stores or just yeah or shop store. Disney yeah so it's on shop Disney.com so it's it's more it's harder to find it because it's only it's supposed to be like Disney that sells it themselves you're not gonna see it at retailers like um, box lunch and stuff like that um, anyways the rest of it is now they already pointed out you've got the super cute gradient bow right there as well as the sequined front pocket i do want to point out these sequins are not nearly as bad as um say the sequin backpacks like in the corner there if you guys can kind of see it those that silver sequin and the blue one right there um those those sequins are i love sparkly stuff but those scratch the crap out of my arm when i wear them like I'm not careful and so I scrape the back of my arm when I like swing the bag forward to like use it and stuff like that. Anyways, um, the sequin, the way it's laid out, is a lot less scratchy so I kind of wish Disney would do it this way a little bit more. I don't scratch myself so much and it's still sparkly. Um, anyways, as for size for you guys, I already showed you previously in another video with my um, the red sequin. But for this one, so this front pocket is fairly small. You're not gonna get much in there. I would say like for me, I could put like chapstick and one of those small bottle of hand sanitizers from um, Bath & Body Works. So like those would be like the small things that you can fit in there. You're not gonna be able to fit much else. However, this main compartment, which by the way, look at the lining, that's so cute. Rainbow bows. Um, here is a phone for you guys, just to show you guys a quick fit. This is a iPhone um, XR. 
No. It is like, it just fits in there. Nice, Mm-hmm. So it like just fits in. You'll be able to zip it up and everything. So uh, based on the dimensions, that's about an average size phone. Some, I think mine is a little bit bigger. I can squeeze it in there, but uh, you're not gonna be able to get much else in there. Probably like a card holder and maybe a couple of small other things. Um, but yeah, I wanna let you guys know, this is the wristlet version. They do carry a um, full size version of the backpack, so an actual mini backpack, and uh, it looks fairly similar to that. I'm gonna guess the lining's probably similar too. And yeah, these wrist wristlets are great for anyone that doesn't wanna carry like a ton of stuff around. A um, couple tips that I saw was someone bought like, the you know, the skinny belts that are probably like that thick, and then they looped it through here, through the strap, because this is removable. So they looped the strap through this loop to make it into a backpack strap for like tiny children. So I thought that was a cute idea. Um, and then also same thing, which is like using a um, a pur like, like a purse strap that also has like, you know, the end where it closes like this. They just loop that around on here and wear this as a crossbody purse and if you're only carrying a few small things. But yeah, a couple tips and tricks for you guys to use this if you don't want to use it as a wristlet or anything like that and you still want to use it but need a different type of strap for it. <laughs> Are you trying to take, the, she's trying to take the plastic off of my stuff. <laughs> Child, I will disown you. Dishonor on you. What does that mean? Dishonor on you for taking the plastic <laughs> off of my stuff. <laughs> Comment below if you get that reference. She obviously doesn't. You need to watch the movie more. You did not get the reference of dishonor. How? You love, you said you love Mulan. Okay, anyways, that's it for today. Sorry, a little rambly at the end, but I know some of you are like me where I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with this? Like, it's so small. Like, what are you going to put in it? <laughs> Would you stop? Child, it's enough. But if you're like me, where you thought that they were really cute, but don't think that you really could carry anything in it, that was a few different ways just to use it on top of... <laughs> um, but you just made me lose my train of thought. Child. They never tell you that mommy brain doesn't pretty much ever leave if your child interrupts you mid-sentence. Um, but yeah, that's a couple different ways to use this in case you're like me where you're thinking it's a little bit small to really like be useful. It can be if you only need a couple things and then there's a couple different ways to wear it, wear it to like keep your hands free. Anyways, that's it for today, yes? What should they do? Like, comment, and subscribe to the notification bell so I know when we post. Can you speak up? You yell really loud, but then when I need you to speak, you're all quiet. <laughs> but yes, like she said, do all the usual fun stuff. Please like, subscribe, comment below, anything you'd like. We, we'd love to try to answer all of our comments. Um, last thing, oh, and don't forget to follow us on social media. I haven't said that in a while. I just realized. Follow us on social media. We are on both Facebook and Instagram. Um, same name, Mooning Smiles. Um, if you'd like to follow my character company, if you've seen some of that stuff. Definitely look that up too. I'm not currently offering in-person parties, but I am doing online, which means I get to broaden my client list because it's all online. So all we have to do is do a Zoom call or FaceTime. Anyways, the more information on that, you just look up all of our pages. But that's it for today. Are you sticking out your tongue at these people? Thanks for watching everyone. And we'll see y'all next time.